caused him a lot of uh, caused him a lot of damage. He is in a bloodied state right now. He, well, I'm sorry, he is in a weakened state right now. And you can see that he's got several nice gashes uh, where blood is protruding through his leather armor now. Okay, so that is it for rain. Next up is one of the bandits outside. And the bandit outside is wielding a light crossbow. And this, he has a uh, perfect shot on rain, and he decides to take the shot with his light, uh, light crossbow. That is a plus three to hit. And that is a 1d8. Ooh. Yeah, plus one. Okay, so the attack on you, Rain, is a as he launches the, the bolt, is an 11 versus armor class. Is that a hit? That's, That's a miss. Okay, so a bolt flies right, but you feel the, the air come off of this bolt as it zips past your head. All right, that is it for him. He's actually going to uh, move over one. Kind of disappear. He kind of disappears around the corner. All right, next up uh, is the other... He comes in with an, uh, a plain view. He has a direct shot, and he takes it on you as well, Rain. Eight plus one, I believe. And that is a 20 versus armor class with the bolt. And yeah, that's a hit. You take a total of nine damage from the bolt. And that is, uh, that is piercing damage. I'm down. You're down as well? Oh boy. Alright. So you are unconscious as well. Life or death saving throws for you. We have two Not party good. members down. This is Grim. Uh, this bandit is here. It looks like he starts to encroach and get into the doorway. And as he's doing this, he pulls a scimitar and drops his, his crossbow. Next up, is the bandit in the back that you attacked? Uh, he does attack you, Mr. Monk. I'm ready. Dejaku, thank you very much for the follow. And he is attacking you with, with that scimitar. Three, Maybe uh, Twitch chat wants to <laughs> give us some help. That is a 13 versus armor class. That is a miss. I got 16. Okay, sounds good. Uh, you're able to do a crouching tiger, hidden dragon type of dodge out of the way. <laughs> Any misses? Will you jump 800 feet into the air? <laughs> Zibit, you are up. Sweet. You, I'm going to see if I live. A, you get to do a saving throw. You're not going to die. But you get to do a 1d20, right, here we go. no modifiers, and we'll see what happens. Good luck. All right, so you have one death saving throw. Tweet! So, <laughs> in, in, in case you guys don't know how to put a number on the icon, all you have to do is just click on your token and open up the little radial dial with the circle on it beside the cog, scroll down, find the... the the devil's head, but well, I'm sorry, the skull head. Just make you don't click it, but just hover your mouse over it and type one. That'll put a one on that for you, so you know that you have one death saving throw. So there you go. That means you got one, and that's it for you. Zodia, you're up. Your companions, your comrades are, are falling like flies all around you. What do you do? Well, what do you do? I, uh, I silently pray to God named Twitch to send us some <laughs> divine intervention. <laughs> <laughs> no, I uh, my eyes glaze over with fury, and I am going to swing nice. my great sword at the orc in front of me, just oh, screaming. One, one second, one second. All right, so it looks like it looks like the viewers are going to come to your rex rescue. Yeah. It looks like. Uh, Ralph Oin and Sisson Guy from the Friday game. They are going to put their points together for you, and it looks like they're going to buy you a uh, a surge. So it looks like everyone will go back up to 
half hit points. Now when this happens, Rain and both uh, Zibit, you guys both come to, so you don't have to do any more saving throws. You are now conscious, but you are prone. Okay? So that's what happens. You guys have the, the healing surge put on you. The, 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 the deity of uh, Twitch TV comes to your rescue, and you guys are now conscious again, and you are at half hit points. So make sure you guys are at half hit points, but you guys are still prone. Does that get so rounded up or down? That is a, uh, it's rounded down. Now, here's the thing. You guys have never had this happen before, so this is a, this is a mechanic that doesn't really, it doesn't, sure, it, it, it happens once in a while, but it's to get, you know, just to get everybody involved. So now that the viewers have helped you, you guys, the viewers cannot do anything else. They can't do anything else for you. They can't do anything else for the monsters. The viewers get to do one thing per night. The players also get to do one thing a night. And then I, if I want to, I can do one as well. And I usually tr tend to, uh, I usually tend to stay out of it. So, okay. Neutral guy. So you guys also can do one thing a night. So it doesn't, it doesn't break the mechanics of the game to where it's just nonstop buff, 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 boon, 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 because that just would make absolutely no sense. Yeah, I agree. So, and 350 <clears throat> EXP, that's a lot to do something like that. That's, you know... I days and days of, of you know watching the, the stream. So I got right. a question. Dave So yes Zodia. Uh, uh well talking to the party, but not in the game, but um not well playing. Do you guys want to do like a boon so we can like hit harder or something? Because I know mm -hmm. my turn's coming up and Zodia before you did you attack it? No, nope, I'm about to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do you guys want to do like a boon so we can hit harder? Maybe he can take out that guy and I can take out these two and then meet back on my side or something? So how would we know that? Because I just came back from the dead. Nah, I'm talking about you guys without role playing. Aspect. You didn't come this back is, from the dead. You were just unconscious. There's the no, almost dead. Yeah, you're not. You're not dead. There's no negatives in five E or nothing like that. It's just zero hit points. You're just unconscious. So what do you guys want to do? You guys want to take a boon? I mean, I got the points, so we can split something. Are you wanting like the plus one one, the plus one buff, or something else? Day. I'm gonna look at the chart real quick. Give me one second. Yeah, whatever you want to do is fine with me. We could probably use more life or accuracy over damage, but I'm open to anything. Yeah, Dave, I'll, I want to do the plus one um, to, to the group. For, I get hit, right? Accuracy? That's what you said, Zodia, right? Yeah, or if you can heal us up more, I don't know if that's possible. Um, is that possible, Dave? To a, well, to do possible. another half health again to the party? Sure. Uh, you guys can do whatever you want. You guys can do whatever you want, but this is the only thing that you can do all night. So if you guys want to do that, then that will be a uh, 350. I think somebody needs to turn on your headset or something, guys. Seriously, there's too much too much feedback coming back. All right, so yes, you can you can do that, and you can split the three fifty any way that you guys want to. They can take us down one hit anyway, so I don't think it's worth the other half of the hit points. I think we would be better off with a boom. I agree, cause I'm about to hit at least one of these guys or something. Do it. <laughs> okay, Dave, that's what we'll do. Okay, you guys want to have plus one to all attacks and plus one to all. I believe it's plus one to all attacks, saving throws. It's you know, it's plus plus one to all. No damage, just attack rolls and stuff. Mm -hmm, plus one mm -hmm. to all rolls. Okay. Uh, so how are you guys doing this? It's how are you guys doing the points? Armor as well. AC. No, it's not. It's not AC. No, it's just plus one to just attack rolling. stuff like that. Rolls. Okay. Okay. So who's who's paying for this out of the group? I I will. Uh, double side work. And if anyone wants to pitch in. Yeah, I'll pitch in. So half and half? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so you can go ahead and do your uh you can go ahead and do your attack. Cyborg. Cyborg. No, it's not. Uh, Zodiac's turn. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna... 
I'm gonna attack yeah, Zodium, the... Yeah, Zodium. Zodium. My bad. No, it's all good. I'm gonna attack this half-orc uh, standing across from me, and I get a plus one, right? So... Cyber, so, are you not in... Who, who's, who's paying the other half besides Dex? Uh, me. Alright, uh, you're not in chat, are you? I don't, I don't see you in chat. How much did you get in chat? Right, yeah, I'm in chat. Is, 26 definitely hit. Uh, I don't see you. Oh, never mind. You're up top. I forgot you're a mod now. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your damage. Alright. Eight damage on the half work. He's in pretty bad shape, guys, but he's still up. Looks like he's still uh, conscious enough to attack. Zodi, anything else for you? That was with your two-hander, correct? Yep. And, uh, yep, the two-hander is 2d6, right? Yes, sir. Okay. That's it. Anything else for you? Or you got lay on hands. Don't forget, you got lay on hands, too. So. You can use it as a bonus action, Dave, a lay on hands, if you wanted to. I think so. Okay. So, um, so yeah, I'll use it then. Okay. Please do. Yeah, just, just, <laughs> yeah, make sure just, just make sure you. You guys just make sure you guys know what your characters can do. So just, I'll I'll kind of remind you guys once in a while. But yeah, I was gonna ask if that was a bonus action or not. Uh, let's let's take a look at it, shall we? All right. So we go down to lay on hands. You click on it, and it says, uh, yes. Let's see, you're, you have a pool of healing power as an action. No, so it takes an action. It is not a bonus action. Okay. So you cannot do it. So you. you know, All right. It, well, it is an action. That's uh, that does it for me. All right. So that's it for you. Looks like a, a bandit is up, and the bandit is going to attack the monk in the back. Uh, I think it should have been uh, my turn right after him, Dave. All right, so I have uh, yeah, it is it is Shalas' turn. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. Um, which one was attacking me? <laughs> just Shala, kidding, just you're kidding. up. Go ahead. Uh, you can attack uh, the other one that's not uh, in a weakened position if you'd like to start working on another one, or you could work on the one that's already been hit a couple times. It's up to you. Or yeah, you I'm can come over and finish off I'm, this I'm, bastard. Is disengage a, um, what action is that? For what? Attack is a standard action. That's a standard action, okay. Mm -hmm. yep. And then your, your, uh, two, your second hand, your dagger would be two weapon fighting, and that is a, a bonus action, so. How about if I, let's say I moved, like, backwards, and maybe throw my dagger at the, um, the half orc? Alright, if you move out of their five feet re range, that is called an, an attack of opportunity that they get against you. But using uh, disengage. That takes an action, correct. So okay. if you use your action, you're not going to be able to attack. So Night. you can uh, use Night. your disengage, and then you can use your movement to move up to your movement speed. And I couldn't use my, my bonus action to, uh, to throw a dagger or anything? Uh, I believe you have, to, you have to attack to get the bonus action. Okay, okay. Right? Let me, let me, I think you have to, let's, that's a great question, let me double check. Yeah, so you probably want to stay where you are then, because you won't be able to do anything. Yeah, just yeah. karate him in the face. I think I'm going to attack the guy on the, on the bottom with a full attack, and then the guy that's weak in state, I'll do like a, a smaller attack with him. No, hit him in the stomach, don't hit him on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it will work on the bottom, though. Alright, you want to attack him, or if yeah, you yeah, want to attack yeah. him, go ahead and roll, okay? Okay. And I'm going to look that up later. A 13 versus armor class is a hit. And your guy's awesome. Plus 8. Yep, proficiency you... plus dexterity, oh, six plus two. Yeah, that's not. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have a twenty. That's right. You started with a twenty because you rolled an eighteen and then your racial, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Or yep. Yep. 
That's the benefits of rolling. Okay, and um, yeah, I'm attacking. What up top? All right, so go ahead and roll your 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 damage on the the guy that you attacked, which was I would guess would be the the weakened status one. Yes, Dave. Okay, go ahead and roll your damage. All right, so you hit this guy, and you basically drive your weapon through his throat, and he falls down dead. Okay, that's my bonus action. I uh, I'm gonna attack the other one. Okay, that would be a pretty good idea to do. And this one's regular, same thing, right? Plus eight. Uh, it would be yep, but you don't add any damage bonus to damage this time. That's if you hit. Another solid hit. Nice. Jada Taku, thank you for the sh uh, follow. Sling Shards, thank you for the follow. Kurt94, Just In Case 157, and Kid Weasel, thank you guys for the follows. I do appreciate it. And go ahead and do your damage with no modifier. Okay, two damage. Uh -huh. He says, Tis not but a scratch! <laughs> so there's more coming for that. Oh my god, Scottish ninjas. I say kick him in the kilt. Alright, so next up is... Actually, the... The bandit that you just attacked is reposting your attack. And he parries, and he thrusts towards you with a scimitar. Bring it. My free action, I say. <laughs> he brought it with an 18 versus armor class. Did he bring in enough? Oh yeah, he's, he, he brought enough. I'm, okay. I'm whimpering at this point. Uh, he, he brought it enough uh, where he does 7 max damage against you. So that is 7 slashing damage against the monk. Okay. Now next up is the, the half work. I am at uh halfway. Am I bloodied as well? Am uh, I you would be in a weakened status well. if you okay, are okay. at half hit points, yes, you are in yep. a weakened status. Right. Yep, I'm at five. I uh, will change you to a weakened status. Remember you guys have two healing hip two potions of healing as well. Back up to the half orc. The half orc attacks the actually attacks Rain. Uh actually no he doesn't. He's going to attack the Paladin because the Paladin had got his attention after he, he noticed that rain went down. So he is going to continue to attack the Paladin. Uh, let's see... So the Half-Orc attacks with a 14 versus armor class. That's a miss. Okay. You're able to parry his his weapon away with your two-hander as you kind of sidestep kind of side it as well. Can I spit a little of the blood in my mouth and his face as sure, he does it? you can do that. Alright, Rain, what are you doing? You're a prone, so if you're going to stand up, it's going to take half it your movement. It takes all my movement. No, 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 oh, is no, it all of no, it? Nope, it only takes oh, half. Okay. So if you have like a 30 movement, up? yeah, you, so you stand up, you have 15 movement left. Um, and I'm going to attack the half orc, rapier, and dagger again. Okay, feel free. He says, "Are you back for more, Missy? I'm definitely gonna take <laughs> your throat box out now." I so need one. Plus six becomes a plus seven. Yes, it would be. Mm -hmm. It would be plus seven because you guys have your your boon. Twenty one is a hit. He says, "Oh, that hurt." <laughs> <laughs> It'll be you who's going down now. I collect throat boxes from my enemies and a tiefling I do not have yet. <laughs> oh, five damage. Bum, bum, bum. That is but a five. sneak attack. Yeah. Yeah. Sneak attack does take effect. Woohoo! Anything damage. helps. Anything helps. So as you, as you thrust your, your rapier into the orc, he looks over at you, and he has this whimpering look on his face, and he tries to say something, and he can't get the words out, and he falls over. Uh, uh, dead. Not so smart now, are you? <laughs> nice. 
All right, so you still have you still have movement, and I uh, you have 15 feet of movement left, and you also have your offhand offhand attack as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Your bonus first attack. Thing, eh? Yep. The first thing I'm going to do is step on the half orc's corpse. Oof! I like it. <laughs> and go to shank this guy. She, wow, she's vicious, guys. She is a tiefling with an attitude. I'll take care of this myself. Seventeen. And you give him. You give him pretty good. The the looks like the the tide is starting to change now. Three damage. All right. So you hit him for three. And damage. I'll take a few steps back. So XP XP bailed these guys out, y'all. I mean XP definitely bailed these these players out. All right. So rifle, just how much? <laughs> how much? Uh, I don't know if you can move that far. So you had fifteen movement. Yeah, that went to 10, 15. Yeah, you're right. Sorry about that. Squares it's are fun. bigger than what my mind is actually computing. So, All right, yeah, so that's it for rain. Good. Next up is the uh, the bandit comes back around the corner, has his crossbow loaded, and unleashes the bolt towards the paladin. Ooh, that is a critical hit on the paladin. So, no. so yep, that is a that's a critical hit. And what does a critical mean? What does a critical hit mean for everyone in the stream? It means everyone me. gets extra boons. <laughs> okay, so everybody gets five exp. <laughs> thanks, and thanks. You take a total of seven piercing damage from the critical hit. That drops me. All right. <sighs> So you are down, you are at zero hit points, and you are unconscious, and you are going to need to start doing death saving throws now. Life or death? It's life or death now for the Paladin. But at least the half works down, right? I mean, that's serious. So this, uh, as the, the rest of his movement, this bandit kind of gets out of the way of rain. Next up is the other bandit, and the other bandit... Um, I'm, I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to seeing that you haven't really done anything yet uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and move over one, which I won't and I won't occur an attack of opportunity and as I, as I move down, uh, he does pull his uh, light crossbow out as well, and he attacks it, and I'm going to shoot at disadvantage uh, at at rain actually. Well, uh, now does this? Yeah, the target is an enemy, and I I need to look up something about uh, range attacks. I want to see if the the creature can't have any kind of condition on it. So stand by one second, y'all. You know, I got to look something up in, in our player's handbook real quick in combat. All right. So just so ranged attacks. There we go. Let's see. Range attack. Aiming a range attack is more difficult when a foe is next to you, which there is a foe, even though he's prone. When you make a range attack with a weapon, a spell, or some means, you have disadvantage on the attack roll if you're within... Okay, who isn't incapacitated. So, you're not incapacitated, you're just prone. Incapacitated would pretty much mean that you can't do anything. You can at least do something you're prone. So... Yeah, and and you can see here that the condition says incapacitated is uh, pretty much you can't where you can't take actions. However, you're prone, you can still take actions. So you're lucky, Rain. You're gonna get attacked at, with disadvantage. Awesome. So he does fire the the crossbow bolt at you, and the disadvantage roll is a 12 versus armor class and you're lucky it was disadvantaged because the other roll was a 19. So still a miss. There Sorry. you go. No good. Alright, that's a miss. And that is it for him. Actually, no, he's going to try to duck around the corner. So when he does try to duck around the corner, even though you're prone and you're conscious, you can get an attack of opportunity because he's moving without a, you know, out of your your five foot reach. So oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So when you're prone, I believe that you attack at disability, uh, a disadvantage, 
because you're prone. So let, let's take a look at that as well, shall we? That's something that we haven't had yet pop up. So my guy's been attacking at disability all night, so this is perfect. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it should be disadvantage. So when you're prone, let, let's look at the conditions real quick. It should just say on conditions. So prone means uh, an attack roll against the creature has advantage. Uh, otherwise, the attack roll has disadvantage. So there you go. All right. Yep. Go for it. All right. I'll go ahead and do a fireball. Uh, well, you can you can attack. You can just normally swing your swing your staff. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. So yeah, I can't attacks do like a spell about, attack. No, not unless you have a uh, warcaster and you don't have that feat. So okay, warcaster so allows you to substitute a melee attack, but an attack of opportunity is a melee attack. So yes, you can go ahead and uh, do a melee attack and add your strength modifier in, and you're proficient with your weapon, so you can add that in as well. So your okay. your attack should actually be yeah, it's uh, plus plus, three. Uh, plus one actually because your modifier is minus one. Oh, that's right. So you are attacking at minus one. But then with the uh, with the boon would it take it to zeroes it out. Yep, Zero. would actually no. Uh, it would be it would take it back up to two. So your two minus one plus one is two. Because your proficiency is two, your modifier takes it down to one, and then the boon takes it back up to two. So you, yeah, you're at plus two. All right. So your attack is a, a fourteen versus armor class. So you club him. You hit him. You you hit no, him right actually, in the kneecaps. I must have done that a, wrong, Dave. Uh, 2d20. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, I did it wrong. It, it is a that. miss. We'll use the 5, which is the first one. I, I should have noticed that. That's uh, my bad. And you miss. You, you, I thought you were going to hit him in the kneecap, so that was going to be great. But... <laughs> I was all excited for a second. I was praying. I so you missed, and he gets around, uh, yells nanny nanny boo boo towards you, and that's it. All right, next up is, uh, I believe it is the, the dead... Yes, uh, the dead one is out of the tracker now. Zibit, you are up now. You'll have to spend half your movement to stand up. So. All right, I'll spend half my movement to stand up so I can remove that condition. Okay. All right, so you are no longer prone, and I'll take that off. Oh, you got it. Good job. And then I'm going to go ahead and move. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move, I think, five feet this way to the right. And then I'll do the thunder wave, which does a 15 foot cube from myself that should affect both of these guys. Mm, I don't know if it's going to affect the one on the bottom, but it, it should affect the one on the top. So you said you're going to, you're going to, if move. I go one, oh. sorry, go ahead. Okay. We're, we're, you're, you were right here to begin with. You're, you were, you were you're moving here. towards them. Yeah. If I do a thunder wave, I can catch them in the area of effect and then I don't have to roll for it. It just hits. And it'll knock. I just have to roll damage, and it'll well, knock them back. It's not an automatic feet. hit. They they have to do saving. Well, they can throws, save so, for yeah. half, though, right? Yeah, they can do saving throws, and if they make their saving throw, they don't get knocked back either. So, I believe okay. that's how Thunder Wave works. Yeah, I'm, I'm clicking it now just to be on the safe side. Okay, so so where are you going to move? Because your your positioning is going to be important important because you have a doorway there, and you know I don't. I don't do shooting.